Yeah, what's up guys, Grand Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday Hockey Break. Today we are going to do a product that I have not opened very much of in the day, and quite honestly it's definitely been, you know, 20 years since I've opened this last. I opened it in the year that it came out. Um, very quickly, let's just tell you the background cards, which have nothing to do with the break at all today, other than the fact that they are building my anticipation to open... Uh, the cup for this year because uh, my boxes kind of got held up because I didn't realize I tied them in with a pre-order of uh, some other hockey stuff that had not been released yet. So that's why my cup is being delayed. The videos will come as soon as uh, the, the cup comes in. So I'm pretty excited. Just felt like throwing up some cup cards today. So left to right, we got the, the scripted swatches, 35 of 35, Brock Besser. Center stage, the signature materials out of, I think that's 99, uh, Mark Giordano. And finally, on the right side, a uh, nice Hall of Fame 75-25 uh, anniversary card there of Ray Bork. That being said, guys, let's get into the break today. The break, I hope, is going to be cool today. we got a sealed hobby box of 2000-2001 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Uh, and again, it is hobby. So we have... 10 cards per pack, 24 packs per box. I actually just cut this cellophane the heck out of our way because it's throwing an awful lot of glare. Uh, and the reason that I've actually picked this, it's not like I had a hankering to just open 2000, 2001 Upper Deck Series 2 um, because you can't get the most insane cards in here. Let's just be honest. We'll talk about that momentarily. But basically, I bought this because of that project. I've mentioned on here probably a few times by now. It keeps getting delayed. And my, my goal is to do this now for the, the first ever... Uh, 2021 Upper Deck Extended Release here after Series 1 Series 2 has been released. They're going to do the first ever Extended Release, which is apparently in June, uh, unless it gets pushed back, pushed back like everything else. But uh, the week leading up to that, what I want to do other than open some hobby boxes when it releases, is uh, I, I kind of want to travel through time and open a pack of every single Upper Deck from the you know the inception of Upper Deck Hockey, you know, 9091, the premiere stuff. I want to do a, a low pack, a high pack. Uh, a series one and a series two of every pack of every year that they put out hockey cards. Um, so that's a lot of packs. You know, honestly, it's like 60 or 70 packs or something like that. I've acquired pretty much everything, and I'm going to break this, you know, down. It's, it's not really a surprise project by now because I'm trying to get your guys' help. Um, so what I'm going to do is a three-video series. I'm going to do the 90s, the 2000s, the 2010s, the present date. It'll be a three-video uh, and then a three-day series kind of leading up to that break of 2021 Extended. Um, but anyway, the, the point is I have packs from every year. There was a couple of years I couldn't find individual packs of, and I had to go out and buy a hobby box. This is clearly one of them because that's why I'm breaking this today. So I'm going to pull actually two packs out of this to set aside that we're not going to break today. One of them's for that project. And one is for a different project. You guys will see in the future here on this channel. But, uh, that being said, guys, if you could do me a favor, I'm down to two packs, two packs that I just can't find anywhere. Um, I'm looking for 2000. Two 2003 Upper Deck Series 1 and 2003-2004 Upper Deck Series 1. Uh, those are just impossible for me to find. I found one box of each throughout the last year. And the one box of, you know, 0203 was like $500. And the box of 0304 was like $900. I'm not paying that, you know, for one pack or even for the whole box. You know, it's insane. Um, so please, guys, if any of you can find me either or both of those packs, please reach out to me. Email, Instagram, all that stuff is always in the description. I am gladly willing to pay or trade or whatever the heck you guys want to do for those packs, but uh, I'm having a very hard time finding that. So maybe your LCS has it or something like that, and you guys have a hidden gem. You don't even know it. But, uh, yeah, that's what this is all about. So there's the back of the box. Nothing really to see. Hey, there's their odds hidden up at the top. You guys want to pause and check that out. There's not much to see with it, but there you go. There are 30 young guns. Uh, one in four, you're going to find those. So 24 packs in here. That's going to be six young guns, kind of standard layout like it is today. Find an e-card trading card on lock. It's digital twins. Wow, I'm surprised they were already in digital stuff then. But uh, jersey card and stuff that could lead you to blah, blah, blah. And, and, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to be opening 22 packs of this up today. Let's just grab randomly the top two packs here. I'm just going to take these, set them aside so I don't accidentally open those. And I'm just going to pull out the stack of all of these packs. And honestly, guys, I don't even know what uh, cards from 01, 02 look like, so I have no idea if they're going to be tough to show on camera or what. I hope there's no brickage and stickage. Hopefully that all cooperates with us. And let's just talk real quick about the uh, the kind of the young guns in here. 
So a lot, a lot of goaltender heavy stuff here with as far as the value. Believe it or not, the, the best cards here are two goaltenders. Rick DiPietro and his terrible contract and Marty Havlett. Oh, I'm sorry. That, no. Well, Marty Havlitt's in here, not a goaltender. The other one is uh, Marty Turco. That's actually what I meant to say. Luby Vashnovsky and David Asperger are in here as well. Those are kind of the five big young guns. Um, and you can find, obviously, other things in here. You can find exclusives cards. They did do that, and crap, it was what I was afraid of. We do have some serious brickage going on here. That is a brick. So I'm going to have to pull each one of these. Oh, man, listen to that. Give it a little, holy heck, a card chiropractic adjustment here. Off camera. Oh, man. There is some insane, insane stickage and brickage in these packs, guys. Ooh. -ee. And you know what? I, I don't want this to be a 30-minute video, so... Oh, boy. I'm a little bit nervous about this. All right. Andre Zuzan. So here's the basic layout and look of these cards uh, for 2000-2001. You guys can check out the fronts and backs of that. That's what you got going on there. All right, let's kind of start to fly through this because I am worried with how long this is going to take. So Al McGinnis, Joseph Baranek. And, of course, they're going to troll me and make me flip them every which way, I'm sure. Benoit Brunet, Victor Kozlov, Brian Rafalski, Ian Lapierre, Mark Parrish, Jeff Hackett. Hey, we got to look at that. <laughs> Okay, so we got a couple of things going on in this pack. How about that? That is the, well, it's time for the best young guns you can actually pull out of here. Uh, like I said, the Rick DiPietro here right on camera and Marty Turco. Those are the two most expensive young guns you can pull out of here. Um, you know, raw, non-graded and stuff, just going by Beckett High Value. They both tie at $15 a piece. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea as far as, you know, grading and all those different things with the values that these are. But uh, we pretty much just in pack number one pulled the best young gun, or at least tied with the best young gun you can get out of here, Rick DiPietro. And his terrible, terrible contract. He's still being paid to this day, I'm pretty certain. But, heck yeah, we'll take it. That's definitely the first time I've ever pulled that in my life. And then the other card we actually set down here is this e-card of uh, Mark Messier. And that's actually a pretty cool-looking card. I actually kind of like that card. Nice little subset there. Mark Messier. So, yeah. Interesting. Heck of a start. I mean, oh my gosh, what else are we going to do here? It would be nice to pull in exclusives. Um, and actually, I should throw this out there. I don't think you can get... Oh, I just want to double check here. And uh, I'm looking at things with big values and stuff like that. You know, all, all the big young guns are really in Series 1, you know, with like Marion Gabrick and... Um, Justin Williams, Michael Ryder, Andrew Raycroft, players like that. Um, I'm going to adjust this brickage here again. But uh, you can get exclusives of all these cards. They don't really have them listed in the Beckett price guy as far as, like, you know, the any young guns at all mentioned, actually, in Series 2. So, don't know. But uh, it would be pretty cool to pull nice young guns exclusives. Although I'm sure that's probably next to impossible. But who knows? Stevie Eiserman right there. That's pretty cool. And that's actually a checklist card. I didn't even barely catch that. It's this checklist right there on the top left. And there you go. So that's actually a pretty cool looking card. I like it. Jamie Langenbrunner is going to be right behind there. Boris uh, Moranov. Brent Gilchrist. Stefan Yell. Mike Vernon. George LaRock. Georgie. That is a cool dude. Definitely a cool dude. Jean-Luc Grandpierre. Rob DeMeo, and then we got one of those, uh, oh no, that's actually a totally different card. It's Frozen in Time, Stevie Eiserman, pretty cool. Stevie Eiserman, Frozen in Time, I like that. It's a pretty cool little insert there. Um, and believe it or not, it actually has some decent value to it. It's an $8 card, according to Beckett, as I look right next to me here, so it's pretty cool. I'll take it. And a reminder, uh, game jersey cards back in the day like here you know earlier things like that uh they were not as prevalent at all uh as they are today and stuff like that and they actually have tremendous value to them so they're not like five dollar little things that you're guaranteed to find if you actually pull a game jersey card um in here you know the average common game jersey card has a back of value of 20 bucks and uh, quite a few of them are over 50 dollars towards 100 dollars. so uh that would be a nice find matt's sundin mike ricci uh keith prima Stewie Barnes, 
Hey, Timmy Solani. That was one of my favorite players growing up, him and Paul Correa. Oli the goalie. Uh, Pavel Trenka. Tanka. Sarge. Sergey Gonchar. A couple of years from then, he would join the Pens. Paul Coffey there, former Pen. And Daniel Sedin. That's pretty cool. Danny Sedin there. Uh, it's not considered a rookie card. Um, his young guns, I believe, is in... I think he has the young guns. I'm pretty certain he has the young guns. Just trying to take a quick look for you guys here. Let's see. So I want to say, where the heck is it? I'm not trying to delay this, but I am curious for my own notification. Some of you guys might be curious as well. Uh, yep. He is absolutely found in 99-2000 Series 1. Uh, for him and his brother. So Daniel and Henrik, you can find them. Both in Series 1. If anybody's specifically hunting for that, that's what you want to look for. And this pack just kind of fell open, even though I know it's not tampered with or anything like that. It's a Young Guns. Oh, my Lanta. Look at that. Look who we have. Unbelievable. Seriously, guys, we pulled the top two Young Guns. You can get them. I'm actually going to try and be careful. We'll just pull that before I do the break. Oh, it's exclusives, no less. Wow. More. Wow, what a box. Marty Turco, Young Guns exclusive, 60 of 100. Holy mackerel. This card's waited 20 years for me to pull it. Oh, my gosh. Wow, what a break. What a break. Oh, man, we're having some serious luck. Serious luck. I have no idea the value on that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to say. Um... I'm just taking a quick look at the, make sure it's not in the bucket, but uh, no, it's not. I mean, 15, like it's on the base, but my gosh, exclusives. Shoo, you're talking, that could be a very decently priced card. I have to look into that a little bit more after. And then, you know what, guys, I will uh, try to find some eBay comps or something like that maybe, and I will put it in the description below for anybody that's curious, um, because that's a, wow, that, this is a heck of a box. Beezer, John Van Beesbrook. Carl uh, Dykus, Wayne Primu, wow, Mike Eastwood, Sean Burke, Vladimir Malikov, Pierre Turgeon, Luke Richardson, and what the heck is this? UD flashback of Keith Kachuk. Look at that rainbow foil. That is pretty doggone cool. You know what? Wow. You know, I, I couldn't find more than one box of this, but, I mean, had I found more than one box, I'd have really been kicking myself for not buying a second box of this because this is actually a really cool kind of throwback and stuff. Other than the brickage, granted, guys, you know, the brickage, it sucks. Uh, it is what it is. But uh, as far as the actual cards that I'm pulling, we are, what a, it's a heck of a break with the cards that we're pulling. And, uh, you know, it's actually a pleasant surprise other than the brickage to see that these... Like I said, it's been over 20 years since I opened this. It's pleasant to see that it's not like crazy foil and stuff or it's going to be just driving you guys nuts on camera to try to see, uh, you know, what what the cards are and stuff like that. Oh, my gosh, come on. We got some serious stickage here on these back couple of cards. Oh, my gosh, and I can see why. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, you guys see this. We got another hit, and it's another good one. Ole Jokinen. Wow, Sergei Zuboff. Milan Kraft, Magnus uh, Arvidsson, Roman Hamrlik, Eric Weinrich, Igor Larionov, Brad Isbister, and then I think that hit, yeah, it's coming up next. I don't know if it's upside down or not. I thought I had it separated. Apparently not. And this is the right way. Look at that, guys. Goaltender pack to be. I mean, we're hitting on all of our cylinders with these young guns. David... Uh, Aspisher, or I'm sorry, Abisher. Always had that extra S for some reason. But, uh, you know, he is one of the five top young guns you can get in Series 2, for sure. That is really, really cool. I, I can't believe the young guns were actually hitting in here. That is really, really nice. Now we got a profile. It's first one of these of Brennan Shanahan. So there you go. Not, not too bad of a break. We got a lot of packs. I'm still debating in my head here because I, I just have a feeling this might just go forever. 
uh, because the brickage is what's really slowing me down as you guys can tell you know I'm looking at the pack wrappers here and my gosh we're only six packs in you know I, I my gosh I don't want this to be a 45 minute video you know I'm sure you guys don't either so what I'm thinking already in my head I'll kind of see where I'm at here in the next few packs but uh, this seems like this is going to take forever um, I might split this in a second video or actually I'm coming up with something else in my head right now I'll tell you momentarily Phil Housley not Nat uh, Dominicelli Thomas Caberley, Marco Sturm Andy Delmore Vitaly Yechmenev Sergei Zoltok wow some serious serious tickets here jeez Jeff Shantz uh, Per Svardurit and finally all-star class, Valeri Bure, Pavel's brother and husband of Cameras, or I'm sorry, Candace Cameron Bure, aka DJ from Full House. So there you go. And I tell you what I think I'm gonna do, guys. So don't think there's anything wrong with your screens or anything like that. I think what I'm gonna do after I open each one of these, I'm gonna pause it real quick to break up the brickage so that we can just kind of cut down on the uh Kind of the, the the wasted time here and stuff. I know I'm doing it with this pack, but I, I think you know all this time it's taken me. It's taken me like 20 seconds for each pack here to separate these cards off camera. I think rather than make you guys wait, what I'll do is I'll just kind of. I'm not the best with editing, so I think I'll just pause it and then unpause it when I'm ready to bring them right back on camera. That should hopefully cut down some of this video time for you guys. So we'll do that starting on the next pack and see where we get. But uh, Donald Brashear, Michael Hanzus, Peter Nedved, Patrick Kelberg. Mike Sillinger, Tom Pody, Roman uh, Lyshenko, Peter Bondra, Vinny LeCavalier, and we finish with a rise to prominence. This is a Theodore, so that's a cool-looking card there. Uh, pretty cool. Our first one of those as well. All right, guys, so like I said, I will uh, kind of open this to show you. Well, and I just ruined that one, but you guys can see we're going to have a Young Guns in this pack. Pull that up. Let's pause it and we're back Radislav Suchi Rich Pillen Greg Johnson flip that around for Yuri uh, Carolotti Chris Chelios the guy was a just a machine Dean McCammon Steve Hines Marty Straka Valery Kaminsky and our young guns that we showed you a preview of Peter Hubasik or Hubachek, one of those two. Not exactly sure there. Because that is for the hated Flyers here. Uh, you know, that is the Pens fans. So there's that. This one opened. Pause. And we're back. Hope you guys don't mind this too much. Like I said, my editing process is not very good. Um, and I just, quite frankly, don't have the time to edit. Especially with uh, kind of sticking my, to my mantra here. Putting out a video per day still. I'm going to keep doing that as long as I can or monetarily that I can because, you know, obviously the prices are going up. But for now, we're still doing a video every day. So Manny Fernandez, Larry Murphy, Jay McKee. A little bit of stickage maybe still left there. Matty Collin. Heck yeah. Matty Collin early on in his career. Valeri Zalapukin. Steve Halko. Cliff Running. Robert Svela. Eddie Belfour. And then we got a, our insert is a, what is this? Lord Stanley's Heroes, very nice one, no less. Patrick Waugh, that is pretty cool. That's uh, that's a pretty cool card. I like that a lot. If you guys are curious, at least the Beckett value of that, since I have it sitting here, let's see if it's just sitting here. Because I feel like it should be. Lord Stanley's Heroes. Is it not even here, seriously? Unbelievable, it's actually... Not in the, no, it's not in the back at price guide, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. Let's pause it. We're back. Alex Tangay, Corey Stillman, Francisca Caberlet, Gary Roberts, Scary Gary, Scott Thornton, uh, Dan McKillis, Curtis Brown, Steve Steos, Jocelyn Tebow, another former Penn's goaltender, and the Dominator. So it was just a pure base pack there. No inserts or anything, but uh, nice way to end it with the Dominator. Take that. 
I wish I had thought of this from the very beginning. Nice Lord Stanley's Heroes is on the back there of uh, Brett Hall. Wish I had thought of this though in the beginning to save time. Pause it. Yeah, all right, we're back. Could have definitely saved on this video time. Sandus Ozilinch. Andre Kovalenko. Saku Koivu is upside down, of course. Making me flip things all around. Hey, look at Lou there. That's pretty early on, obviously, in his career. Robert Cron, Tony Monte. Uh, Daryl Plant, Laponte. Eric Brewer. Jeff Sanderson. And there is our Lord Stanley's Heroes of Brett Hall. So that's pretty cool as well. Next pack. I think we can do this in one video, guys. This, this is definitely cutting down the time. All right, let's pause her. And we're back. So we got Joe Murphy to start us off. Paul, or I'm sorry, Pavel Kabina. Alexei Kovalev. Brett Hull. Oh, dropping the cards there. Tommy Westland. Sergey Samsonov. Sean Bates. Oh my gosh, with this turn, he's around. Igor Korolov. Brad Warenka and Steve Guala. So another base pack there. All right. I need to start opening these packs a different way not to spoil the last card. And let's pause it. And we're back. Vaclav Prospel. Bobby Holik. Mika Alatalo. Darius Kasparitis. Boy, did I love him. That was one of my favorite pens probably of all times. Still have some of the Kasparitis Crunch Bars, actually, that was put up by, I believe, uh, Clark Candies here in Pittsburgh. Andreas uh, Dackel. Patrick Elias, and incidentally, it was a good candy bar, actually, at the time. Shane Corson. Vinny Danfus. Uh, Rob Zamanur. Rise to Prominence, Vinny LeCavalier. Another cool card there. I like the inserts. I will say that. The inserts are actually really cool uh, in this stuff. And obviously, the Young Guns have really carried this one so far. Let's pause it. And we're back. Sean O'Donnell. Todd Marchant, Adam Deadmarsh, Jason York, Brian Leach, Marty Bredor, Ziggy Palfi, played for one year as a pen. I was so excited when he came here and then he retired as fast as he came. Ted Donato, Brewer, uh, I'm sorry, Randy McKay, and last but not least, oh, it's another young gun of Mark Smith. There you go for your sharks. I was just going to say we have four young guns so far. Now this makes five, so we're going to be due. Either one more, or we have one sitting in one of those two packs on the side. I don't think there's any other way to pull more than six. I think you're going to pull exactly six, but you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe exclusives didn't count because we did get that nice exclusive. Let's pause this real quick. And we're back. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, that the, the exclusives maybe did not count uh, as one of the kind of quotas of the young guns that doesn't count today, so maybe it didn't count then. I don't know. Jeff O'Neill, Drake Berkowski, Scott Pellerick. Nolan Pratt, Alexei Zhitnik, German Titov, Brian Smolinski, another former pen there, Marty Point, Chris Drury, and then we have a nice Sergei Fedorov. Uh, what the heck does that say? Couldn't see it there. Okay, Fundamentals. Boy, that really blended in there. Fundamentals of uh, Sergei Fedorov. It's a pretty cool looking card. All right. I feel like this video could have been a 10-minute video if I had just remembered to maybe, you know, pause it and break these up. All right, let's pause it. And we're back. But, yeah, guys, like I was saying, I, you know, this, maybe I'll do this in the future with the pausing and stuff like that until I can be a little more adept at maybe editing if I have the time to edit and stuff. And, you know, it's not a break that people paid in on. Everything I open on here is for myself. So, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about, you know, any hanky-panky. This is all me. So, Brian Defoe, Brendan Morrison. Jochen Heck, Matthias Nordstrom, Mike Greer, Slava Kozlov, checklist of Mark Messier, Henrik Sedin, so we're hitting, we've got both Sedin brothers there in their second year cards, Iggy, early on in his career as well, and Vitaly Vishnevsky, so there's that. Next pack, obviously there's an insert on the back, I have no idea who, let's pause it and break it up. And we're back. Let's see what we have here. Keith Kachuk starts us off. Rag Dvorak. Kevin Deneen. Uh, Jean Ives Leroux. Honestly, not very familiar with him. Brian Holtzinger. 
Sean Hill, Alexei Morozov, Adrian Alcoin, Jeff uh, Norton, and finally, hey, there's a nice Frozen in Time of Yogs right there. Yarmir Yager, very cool. I'm not one of those Pens fans uh, that hate him and stuff. You know, he gets booed endlessly when he comes to town here. I think that's going to remain until he gets invited back or accepts the invitation to come back and retire here. Uh, gets his jersey hung up and stuff like that. Everybody always booed him, but uh, yeah, he's a great pen with uh, you know a lot of contributions to the team. Obviously, all right, let's pause it. Yeah, all right, we're back. Jamie Store, Thomas Vokun, Stevie Eiserman. Martin Jonas, uh, Vaclav Verada, Peter Popovich, Joey Juno, Jody Hull, Sergey Breland. And he's a little bit stuck still. Oh, it's our final Young Guns. Didn't see who it was. Let's check out this uh, e card of Marty Broder. That's a, another cool looking one of those e cards. I like that. And what the heck, I'm not going to make you guys wait to the end. We pulled some really good young guns. I mean, the only really good one that we didn't pull yet is, uh, what, Marty Havlat. We didn't pull him yet. Let's see if we can pull him. And we got a Jordan Kristanovich. Krist Jordan Kristanovich for Calgary there. So there's quite possibly our final young guns. But again, we got an exclusive, so I really don't know if that counts. That might or might not. And they actually have uh, two tiers of exclusives here. Um, you can get uh, Tier 1, which is out of 100, which is what we pulled, and Tier 2 is out of 25, so it's kind of like the high gloss, if you will, I guess, at the time. Let's pause this. Yeah, all right, guys, we're back. And a nice one to start here, Joey Sackick, Phil Housley, Marty McGinnis, Thomas Caberlet. We'll flip these around. Radic Bonk, Oleg uh, Kavasha, Sergei Krivokrafsov. Dougie Waite, see it's Lord Stanley Hero, Ron Tugnut, and Mark Messier, Lord Stanley's Heroes. Very cool looking. All the inserts, honestly, are very cool looking in this uh, this year, I will say that. All right, pause her and break her up. All right, guys, we're back. We start with Nat Dominicelli, Donald Brashear, Michael Hanzus, Marco Sturm, Andy Delmore, uh, Peter Nedved, Vitaly Yachmenev, Jeff Shantz, Per Svardvadet, I'm sorry guys, but I'm not familiar with him, All-Star Class, Keith Kachuk, pretty cool looking card there as well, final two packs, oh, we did get a bonus young gun, you guys could probably see most of it there, but I'm going to pause it and unstick this. Yeah, all right, we're back. Radoslav Suchi, Rich Pylon, Sergei Zoltok, Mike Sillinger, Tom Pody, Pierre Bondra, Vinny Le Cavalier, Marty Straka, and another one of those throwback cards there, that UD flashback, a nice one, Tamu Solani, one of my faves, like I said, guys, so that's a pretty cool one. Check that out before the final Young Guns, which is right here. At least I think it's the final one. It's uh, Rostislav Kesla, or Klesla, for the Blue Jackets, so that's pretty cool. So I guess the uh, the exclusives do not count. So here's our final pack, final cards. One final pause. And we're back, guys. And that pack, let me tell you, we ended with a lot of stickage on that last pack. That was rough because it was, I guess, at the bottom of the box. Greg Johnson, or I'm sorry, Greg Johnson, Manny Fernandez, Larry Murphy, our former pen great there. Patrick uh, Kelberg. Yuri Karlotka. Karlotti. Roman Lashenko. Steve Hines. Valery Kaminsky. Cliff Running. And our final card. Hey, my gosh, look at that. A bonus Young Guns. Another bonus Young Guns. Uh, Bryce Salvador. That's a decent one, no less. He's not uh, specifically here listed in the Beckett price guide but uh, he is one of the better players he had a pretty good career bryce salvador very cool for the blues so honestly guys i will i'm not going to show you guys every insert but i will show you the young guns um because we got really lucky we were only sort of guaranteed i guess six with the odds one and four um and we, we pulled a total of eight young guns including a, an exclusive and not to mention i mean we got some of the best of the best uh, we got four of the five biggest young guns you can get here so 
Bryce Salvador, uh, Rostislav Klesla, Jordan Kristanovic, Mark Smith, Peter Hubacek, or Hubasek. There are three big ones uh, that we kind of all pulled in order. Dave Abisher, Rick DiPietro, and how the heck about that? Marty Turco exclusives out of 100. What a what a pull. Like, honestly, guys, wow. Yeah, I had some serious luck, guys, for just a, a random one of these, the only one of these I could actually find online. And not to mention, guys, once again, I do have two packs of this I'm setting aside uh, that I told you guys about. So, yeah, guys, if you're able to find that 0203 or 0304 Series 1 packs, please let me know. Reach out to me. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, do me a favor, though. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys sticking in for the duration of this video. I know it was a little longer than anticipated. But, uh, yeah, please have a great day, great night, wherever you all are at. And we will see you next time.